vibratory thing. It's a 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 vibratory thing.
step off.
person, baby, but when I see you sitting there, so sad. And I need to worry about tomorrow, and yesterday is gone. I wish you'd up good, and we can work our problems out one by one. Oh, 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 the time. I don't let go. Turn it is, I never know, no, no. Let's stand our problems all in a row. Watch them fall, I like down the nose. I'm not to worry about tomorrow when we got each other here tonight. Oh, 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 the time. I don't let go. Turn it loose. I never know, no, no. Let's land our problems all in a row. Watch them fall. I like down the road. Oh, 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 the time. I don't let go. Turn it loose. I never know, no, no. Let's land our problems all in a row. Watch them fall, I like down the nose. 
have been proven by what they did and what they said and even by the fact that when the time came they didn't hesitate to give their lives and their dedication and their hard work has been born fruition bears fruition by where we are tonight and I don't call for a moment of silence and gratitude for what the fathers has given us but we shouldn't go forward without remembering that we are a continuous chain. We celebrate tonight, but we don't celebrate the past, we celebrate the future. And if anybody has a right to celebrate the future, I'm sure that we must be that particular people. We have had great leaders in the past who have stirred us with their words, with their hopes and with their dreams. I remember coming to Washington in 1963, when Dr. Martin Luther King stood at the Washington Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial and he said to the world and to the Congress and to the nation, I have a dream. My 
might have made the difference. You know, it might do us good to examine what some of the plans our previous leaders have had actually were. And perhaps the great misfortune that we never had a chance to get from them, either individually or collectively, just what the plan was that they had in mind. And that's why tonight the birth of my appeal to you for the 13th Congressional Black Caucus members to give us a plan of action. Give to us a 10th Black Commandment. Simple, strong, that we can carry in our hearts and in our memories no matter where we are.